Z20 Agricultural Drone Assembling Tutorial. The Z20 assembling steps are as follows. Installing the landing gears, take out the drone free and parts. Note to distinguish the front, rear, up and down of the drone. Positions marked M1 and M2 are the front, M3 and M4 are the rear. The four position holes on the free indicate the upside, and three holes indicate the downside. Step 1. Install the large buckles on the right down position hole of the free, near the front, ensuring the buckle open face upward. Then install the smaller buckles in the same way. Step 2. Connect the landing gears to the free with four mounting parts. Ensure the arrow points to the head. Tighten with screws. Press the free to level it out, and then tighten the mounting parts. Step 3. Install the adapter on the rear landing gear according to the mark, ensuring the adapter hole is horizontally inward. Install one side, then insert and tighten the crossbar into the adapter. Finally, install the other adapter. Make sure positioning hole on the crossbar faces upward and the crossbar is secure. Step 4. Install the reader bracket onto the positioning hole on the crossbar. Installing the structure parts. Step 1. Install the cover buckles on the upside of the fray according to the positioning holes. Step 2. Install two battery reels on the inside of the rear fray. The point ends face upward. Step 3. Install four arm cams on the outside of the fray. Cams near the drum head face upward. Those near the rear fray face downward or camp open face outward. Step 4. Install the weighing pads. Distinguish the front, left, and the right pads. Then press the weighing modules onto the pad buckles. Installing electronic components. Step 1. Install the FC, PMU, and RC modules on the back of the front PDB. Remove the silicon chip's protective film before installing the RC module. Step 2. Install the front PDB on the front fray. Remove all the silicon chips protective film before installation. Step 3. Install the RTK, GPS, and the GPS bracket in the middle of the front PDB. First, pass the cable parks of the RTK and GPS through the semicircular hole and then fix them with screws. Next, Attach the GPS using double-sided tape. Ensure the arrow points to the drone head. Step 4. Install the RTK antennas. Don't cross the two antennas. Step 5. Install the rear PDB on the rear fray, and then install the dust pad in the screw hole. Step 6. Install the front and rear down covers. First, fix the holes near the locking handles. Then secure the remaining holes. Step 7. Pass the reservoir antenna through the front drum cover and secure it. Then connect the antenna cable to the reservoir plug. Attach the antenna buckles to the drum and fix the antenna onto the buckles. Step 8. Insert the battery signal cable into the frame tube near the M4 arm and guide it out. Step 9. Fix the four locking handles. Make sure to apply re-glue to the nuts before re-securing them. Install drum arms. Step 1. Install the drum arms according to the marks inside the arm tubes. Apply re-glue to the nuts and screws, then secure the arms. Step 2. Install all arm sensors on the sensor brackets. Step 3. Insert the two front arm cables into the M1 and M2 arms, and the two rear arm cables into the M3 and M4 arms. Note: Pass the rear arm cables from the front through the frame tube into the rear frame, and finally into the M3 and M4 arms. Step 4. Install the sensor brackets on the inside of the arm molding ends. Press to tighten them and secure with screws. Step 5. Pass the front power cable from the rear fray through the frame tube and into the M1 and M2 arms. Then pass the rear power cable into the M3 and M4 arms. Step 6. 
pass the front rear power cable into the front tube near M3 arm. Install the motors and nozzles step 1. Loosen the screws of the motor cover and remove the cover and the fixing tube. Then install two CCW motors on the end of M1 and M3 arms separately, and install two CW motors on the ends of the M2 and M4 arms separately. Step 2. Align the fixing pin in the clamp under the ESC with the hole on the arm tube. Then tighten the screw on the ESC. Next, tighten the four screws on the clamps and the two screws on the motors. Step 3. Install the nozzle mounting part on the M3 and M4 motors. Note, the smooth surface faces inward when the arms unfold. Then remove the nozzle motors and use the hand tightening knots to secure the nozzle adapter to the mounting part. Note, align the grains of the adapter and the mounting part, then lock the all type pin at the end of the hand tightening knots. Pass the nozzle cables through the nozzle adapter. Note, pass M4 cables through the passing reels on the adapter and into the adapter. Finally, connect the nozzle cable to the motor terminal and secure both the nozzle adapter and the motor. Step 4. Pass the longest silicon hoses into the tail end of M3 and M4 arms, starting with the smooth end. Then place the spring slabs on the hoses and pin them to the inside of the frame tubes. Next, connect the longest hose to the barbed end of the nozzle using the shorter silicon hose. Step 5. Park the signal and power cables of the forearm cables into the signal and power cables of the motor and the ESC. Organize the cables, cover them and the hoses with seals. Pass the hoses through the lower hose and secure them to the tail end of the arms. Step 6. Install the foam covers on the four motors. Step 7. Loosen the screws on the locking handle and remove the pin. Insert the pin into the hole of the arm holder. Then retighten the screws. Install the remaining handles in the same way. Installing readers and other parts. Step 1. Install the headlight brackets on the front landing gears according to the position marks. Then install the headlights. Step 2. Install four cable clamps on the landing gears, arrange and secure the LED cables, then tighten the clamps. Step 3. Install the front reader on the reader bracket and secure the bracket cover. Step 4. Install the camera on the bottom of the reader bracket. Step 5. Pass the plugs of the camera front reader and LED cables through the home in the front button zoom cover. Make sure the cables are inserted into the housing slot before passing through. Then tighten the reader bracket and cover the rubber seal on the cables before sealing the hole. Step 6. Connect the weighing cable to the weighing module Noting the positions of K1, K2, and K3 according to the indicator. Then pass the cable through the cable buckets on the outside of the frame's course bars and lock the buckets. Then pass the cable plugs through the home in the front button cover and seal the hole with a rubber seal. Step 7. Pass the 10 cables through the right home in the front button cover, then secure it to the larger button on the outside of the drill. Finally, seal the home with the rubber seal. Step 8. Install the attitude reader on the bracket on the crossbar. Then install the two cable clamps on the rear landing gear, secure and erase the cables, and finally, lock the cable clamps. Step 9. Pass the cables of the rear reader and attitude reader through the hole in the rear button cover. Then secure the rear reader and seal the hole with a rubber seal. Step 10. Pass the cables of the front reader and attitude reader through the frame tube near the M4 arm and into the front frame. Install the cables. Correctly plug all the cables of the front and the rear distribution boards according to the finger. Note, apply a proper amount of grease and rubber seals when plugging. Follow the principle of proximity when plugging. 
Check the positive and negative poles of the canvas when sewing. Keep plug not tilted. Check if any pins are bent or there are foreign objects. If obstruction when plugging, make sure the cable plug buckles are fully inserted into the socket when plugging. Install the tank. Step 1. Install the front and rear open covers and tighten them with screws. Step 2. Insert the tank into the fray and connect the water hoses to the air bulb adapters. Then connect the ten cables to the drum. Finally, install the propellers. Make sure the propellers and the motors are matched. The Z20 installation is complete.